Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another haul video on my What's in the Box series. Um, this one is rather large, barely fits on my table here. And it's turned up this way because it's got my address on the other side, so I didn't want to show it. I'm not 100% happy from the start because they've just put the Lego in a bag inside of a bin liner. With no additional protection, so if there's anything of value in there, it stands a chance of being broken. But... Let me just give you a bit of backstory on this haul. I accidentally bought it. I actually I haven't opened it yet, so I could be wrong about what's in there. But if it's what I suspect it is, which I think it is, it's the notorious Disney one I, mean, I mentioned. I accidentally bought it. And the reason I accidentally bought it is because I was on eBay and I saw this for sale. And it was going for what I considered to be a relatively cheap price. I didn't notice the postage on it, which doubled the price, basically. But still, overall, it wasn't too bad a deal. It was about £9 for the Lego, you know. And about the same for the postage. Actually, it was a bit more than that for the postage. It was like £13, I think. So, right, you're looking at £22, something like that. Um, so anyway, I, at first I was flabbergasted as to why I won the thing, because nobody else bid it on it. And uh, I didn't expect it to go for that low, which is why I bid to it initially. But what I'd forgotten is I bid on it because I took a close look at the pictures. And I saw a big fig in there. Uh, big figs in Lego, if you don't know, are quite rare. Um, there's a few of them there, but they're quite hard to come by. And I didn't do my research into what big fig it was. I should have done, really. Um, because you'll see in a minute what it is. Let me just take it out of this bag. So here we are again. I've took it out of the bin liner now. Here we are with a great British brand, Sainsbury's, <laughs> the bag. Let's see what's in there, shall we? With my trusty double-bladed scissors. Like all scissors are, let's just jam that in there and put it open. This is easier said than done with one hand. Most people have a tripod and the camera set up. I hold my mobile phone, so this amateur. I think just cut through something to dry. No. Okay, this amateur work you see in here is um, in fitting with the channel, really. Come on. Tell you what. I was going to cut it there actually and just bring you back when I've opened it up, but you know what? There's a bit of suspense when you do this. Look, you can see the bright colours. Definitely Friends and or Disney sets in there. Look at that, guys and girls. Okay, that's some interesting stuff. Another thing I was thinking when I've done this, by the way, is that Friends and Disney has a lot of um, cool colours in bricks that you don't normally get. And I'm looking to build, perhaps... Well, at least try and build some sort of mark in the castle theme. And things like this. A gold... Oh, I've just dropped it. One moment. A golden gate can be very useful for a castle set. Uh, and look. Does anybody recognise this? That, ladies and gentlemen, is Sven from the Frozen films. Yoo-hoo! Big summer blowout! Anyway. That was my German accent, by the way, from the film, if anyone would like to know. So you could see how things like this could be used in a castle mark or a historical type mark. Uh, things like that make me think, I would actually know what that's from, that's kind of crazy. I don't think it's a friend set, it could be elves maybe. Well, maybe there's just another set in here. Anyway, let me pour this out into a box, that box, and see what we've got. So here we are back, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, big figure right on the top there. This, I had to look up his name, but he is, um, oh, let's see if I can pronounce this correctly, Maui of Moana fame. Yeah, I've never even seen the film. I know one of the songs from the film, but that's about it. Honestly, he's kind of cool. I like that. He's not really going to fit in a castle setting, maybe, but... Uh, yeah, at least I know what set I've got there, uh, if the complete set's there, of course. And there's other interesting things I saw while I was just pulling this out. There's this thing, which looks like a... Oh, I don't know, actually, it's like a... Monkey head? Let's see if I could focus on that. Nope. I thought I'd got this figured out, but... He doesn't want to do it. So can you see anything else in there? Come on. 
Well, you get the idea anyway, and he's got like a cupcake on his head. Strange picture there. Which, I don't know, look like Pokemon to me. Maybe it's a friend's thing, I'm not sure. I don't know what they are. Uh, I did see some normal figures in here as well. There's interesting animals all over the place. There's that. What's that? I mean, that's, that's got to be friends, right? I promise I didn't buy this knowing what I bought. <laughs> There's a dolphin. Um, pieces like that. That's kind of interesting. Oh. Oh, well, that's, uh, that's Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz. This is a collectible minifigure. I don't know if the whole thing's in there, but there it is. Oh, this is something interesting. It's like a glittery globe. Now, they use these types of globes in Castle, but without the glitter, of course. That could be interesting for a Castle map. There's this guy. I have no idea what he comes from, but... He looks like he could be the that CMA, actually. Is he the collectible minifigure that, that's coming out of a cake in Series 18 costume party one? If he... If he... If he... If he if he is, then I've got that one somewhere. A golden half clam, interesting. So that's a base plate. Something non-Lego. Oh, actually, no, it is Lego. The Lego Movie Two. Oh, this was probably one of the promotional items you got from McDonald's by buying a Happy Meal during the release as you that clam. Uh, well that's strange, a slashed picture of a little girl or boy, girl, that's kind of creepy actually, is that Harry Potter set maybe? Oh, a very rare orange brick separator, wink wink, air pieces, yep, anything else cool in here, let's have a look, what's this, what's this, what is that, just a decorative piece, oh, some instructions, so I've got a junior set probably in here somewhere. Okay, I didn't know you had to get friends junior sets. Well, apparently so. Hopefully I've got that little kitten in there. That'd be a cool little piece to have. Ah, I know who this is. That's, um, let me see if I can get this right. Prince Puppycorn? Or Puppycock or something from the Unikitty series. I didn't collect those CMFs, so I do have a couple of them bagged which came in another haul once. Well, it looks like I might have another one in here. There's obviously a little girl's collection, this one. Oh, the guitar, that's very useful, nice to have. Some kind of, I have no idea, Pokemon? <laughs> I'm not really sure. Uh, that looks like part of a train, like one of those little tiny mini creator trains. Like base plates put together there. Part of a book. Very useful. Ah. Oh, I know this guy. This guy is from the Lego Movie 1 collectible minifigures line. I wasn't expecting this stuff. That's good because I don't actually have that figure. I believe he's supposed to have some accessories though, so hopefully they're in here as well. He's like, coffee is 35 That'll be $35. Awesome! More base plates. What? Oh my god. Um that, that I think he's also from the Lego Movie One. Collectible minifigures at all. Off the top of my head I couldn't tell you which one. Hmm. One second. Yeah, I just went away to have a look to see if I could find the Lego Movie One collectible minifigures leaflet to to see which one it was, but I couldn't find it. Anyway, I'm glad to have that. Like a little troll. Maybe it's from an elf set. That looks like Princess Anna's here from Frozen. Don't ask me how I know that. Well, that was from that. It's the instructions we had. The case we I'm guessing that's a mini doll torso. That's my first mini doll, I think. Ever. Oh, look. What's that a snowman? Do you want to build a snowman? 
I'll stop. I promise I'll never sing on this channel again. Nothing, nothing from Disney anyway. A little dog. A Dalmatian. Mm. What else have we got? Do you like the clattering of Lego, by the way? If you don't, this probably isn't the video for you. It's the slides that are so prevalent in your friends' sets. I've got, do you want to build a snowman in my head now? Interesting. Do you want to build a snowman? It's kind of creepy. Another mini dog cursor. Another slide, a golden one. Ooh. Maybe my knights can slide down something. What's this? Well, that's kind of cool. I like that. This is another regular minifigure. I have no idea what he's from. Yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff in here. I think I'll just pause and pull out some interesting pieces and show you. Be right back. And here I am back with some parts I pulled out of the box, which I thought was slightly interesting at least. Um, there's probably more in there. These golden wheel pieces are quite versatile, I think, and could be used in a castle set, as with this golden railing. Here you can see the snowman from Frozen, and the head at least, which I'm, if I remember correctly, his name was Olaf. Yeah, I remember singing a song about what snowmen do in summer. They melt, mate. I mean, uh, yeah, they melt. Another one of the Unikitty CMF line. No idea which one that is. I'm guessing it's just Unikitty in a different mood. There was this printed piece, which isn't much useful to me, but uh, still interesting to have. Um, that's another golden rail piece. And there's this yellow sort of castle wall piece. I'm sure it's not meant to be a castle, but interesting. Could be another take on the old uh, Black Falcon's fortress. There's these two minifigures. I think that one's Harry Potter. That one, not quite sure. I don't know. Uh, there's this piece which comes from the Dorothy CMF line figure. I'm not sure about that piece. Probably from one of the Moana ones or something. I'm not sure. And this, probably from Anna, is Anna from Frozen. From the CMF line, most likely. And this fish, I don't know. From one of those films, probably Ariel or something. What was that film called? A oh, Little Mermaid. There's this door. Interesting. And this horse, it's all black and it's got a bridle on. Um, it's got one of those big girly looking eyes, though. I'm not really keen on that. But it's quite black, you can't really see it, so. And of course, Sven. Oh, and uh, that guy, whatever his name is. And there's tons of interesting pieces in there. Oh, one more thing. An almost fully built car. There's probably a set in there. I'm not sure if I want to piece it back together or just keep the parts or maybe sell on some of the stuff I don't want and keep the stuff I do want. And I'm uh, talking about castle pieces in there. Just for example, look at these. Very useful. Um, so that's it, that's this haul. I hope you enjoyed, I know it's not my normal uh, theme, it's not my normal area of interest, but I accidentally bought it and I'm not too displeased with it to be honest with you because there's a lot of interesting stuff in there. I obviously had a keen eye the first time I spotted it and thought I'll bid on that now because later I'll forget. I don't regret it at all. Uh, I do have some recap videos coming on the Fortrex haul I got and the Ultimate Stone Colossus of Destruction or whatever it's called. The Stone Colossus isn't built yet, but the Fortrex is. It took me a long time. There it is. My son loved it. Um, he was playing with that all on Saturday. And I've got one more haul, which, again, was sent in a bin liner. Annoyingly. And I know which this is. This one will be interesting to Castle fans, I think. Um, so stay tuned for more. Until then, see ya. Uh, a slight... A slight addition to my earlier video. I've now been through, as you can see, I pulled out a lot more pieces. I'm particularly impressed with a lot of the stuff you get in a friend set. What I would say is, if you're a mucker, um, 
get a second hand used friend and start like this because there's a lot of useful pieces in here uh, by the way i found out who this guy was it, it's not series one lego minifigures it is oh well, let me see if i can just do 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 former president of america oh my god i can't do this yep there we go abraham lincoln i've got that figure but now i've got him again um useful pieces for cat castle look at this it's like a stained glass window which i think is from a beauty in the beast set because i found the beast's head Yeah, I found the beast head, which will not focus. Anyway, and a lot of other interesting things like this shield piece, the old type of shield. It's got a sticker on the front, but that's kind of a creepy shield. If you're creating a lot of witchy society or something, and then their protector or knight would hold that shield. There's things like golden bows, bow and arrows, um, these tridents. Food pieces, which are always useful. A chicken leg and like a croissant. Um, golden goblet. Strangely enough, I found this. It's not Lego, but it's a tiny Russian doll. Any Russians out there know what happened to the others? That's a creepy face right there. Anyway, um, lots of animals. Oh, that's really relevant to this video but there's a ton of stuff in here i'm just amazed how many pieces there are that are just interesting and useful look at all those hair pieces look at it and the most interesting thing i find after i turned the video off before this look at that it's like a micro scale minifigure i don't think i've ever seen one that small before it's not even like the ones you used to get in the old board games from lego this is even tinier just compare that to a minifigure for a second. Yeah, goes up to his hand. And then one other thing. Yeah, the other thing was uh, these. These are just the loose mini doll heads. That's kind of creepy, I think. Ugh. It's like I've severed loads of dolls heads and now I'm keeping them as my collection. Like a serial killer or something, I don't know. Uh, there could be kids watching this. Yeah, it's a lovely uh, mini doll collection. Lots of it there. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, honestly. I think I'll probably just... I'll try and sell them on a set if I can rebuild some of this stuff and keep the bits I'm interested in. Or perhaps just piece these together and give them to my niece. I might do that. Anyway, that's it for this video. Bye-bye.